Um, I'm going to be making keto chocolate chip cookies. I'm at my mom's house right now. So, yeah, that's my different scenery. So, this is the recipe. And this is the nutrition on it. Okay. So, I already have the flour and the salt and the baking powder and the erythritol in here. That's this white stuff is the erythritol. And then I have these sugar-free chocolate chip cookies. I have the two eggs that are going to, and I'm doubling this recipe because normally it calls for one egg. Um, the almond flour, I said that already, and I actually am just waiting for butter. That's what the only thing that we don't have at this very moment. And then I'm going to add in, have it all mixed up, and then add in the chocolate chip cookies, and then I'm going to bake them. And I will show you guys what they look like when I'm done. So this is the cookie dough. I'm going to get a cookie sheet and then line it with parchment paper. And then I will put it into the oven and cook it for 10 minutes at 355. Going into the oven. So it's 2.02 uh, .02 p.m. and I'm having my first meal. I'm having eggs with cubed ham and mozzarella cheese. That's all I'm having. I got the call for Jonathan's sleep study and we're doing that tonight. That happened kind of quick actually. They said if we didn't take the appointment for tonight that we were gonna have to wait until the end of April. So, wow, that was quick. We shall see. So, I just got the cookies out of the oven and I kind of left them in a little hair too long. Um, this is the first batch, I'll show you. They're a little bit toasty, but they're still yummy. This one fell, of course. Um, actually, two of them fell, but it's okay. This makes, I doubled it, and it makes about 18 cookies, but I like big cookies. So the um, recipe, let me see, hold on. Let me see. I don't really know like the serving size. I guess that's kind of bad. I, we make these cookies quite a bit. And so, let me see. It just says, makes 12 balls. That's all it says. Place it in your hand, roll the dough, makes 12 balls. Place it on a baking tray. Well, it doesn't. I'm just saying that. We do about nine per batch. So that's doubled. Huh. But it's okay. Um, so the macros on it might not be all that correct. So we'll have to we'll have to see. But these turned out really good. They're crisp they're like still gooey on the inside if you can see and they're nice and firm on the outside, so that's good.